LSU fresh off that 9-4 win against Zaga. As Dylan Cruz stands in and hacks at the first pitch and fouls it off. 12-game hitting streak. Fly ball, right side, coming toward the line, Zavala, right fielder, laying out, can't make the catch. Cruz is going to try toward second and then slide in with a leadoff double. Manga earlier today to stay alive. Slow ground ball, shortstop has to hurry, Kasevich's throw. They get him. He is going to be safe. Well, Zach on an above average runner. You see the shortstop Kasevich comes in and a good throw across the diamond, but just not in time as Zach Arnold beats it out. Kasevich was playing back where he wow. should be. And that is bang, bang over at first base. First game between LSU and Oregon in their program's history. And here comes the call. Safe. Two on, nobody out. Trey Morgan do up next for LSU. Ground ball. Stopped by the second baseman, Grant. They won't get the double play. And a run scores. Cruz comes home to make it 1-0 Tigers. His family, his wife and his son. And they got Morgan picked off. And he's tagged out. And a little bit of a funk now. And that's strike three. Dugas looks at that pitch. Final out of the inning. Yovan. Swung out and missed, struck him out. Two down. Fly ball. Into the corner. And that's going to get down for extra bases. Zavala rumbles into second. We'll put on the brakes. Two out double for Aaron Zavala. One. Three two pitch. Got him. Malazzo held on. Couple of strikeouts in the inning for Wittmeyer. Game from Cruz and Arnold. And they've got another one. As Brody Drost, in his first plate appearance of the national tournament, gets a two-out single. One strikeout for Walker. He's got two. Javen Coleman is the man now for LSU. Josh Kasovich leading it off for Oregon, and he greets him with a ringing extra base hit up against the wall in right center. Stand-up double for Kasovich on the first pitch from Javen Coleman. Lincoln kind of bridge it to your better part of your bullpen. Breaking ball, hit hard to Morgan. Always making it look easy, another good inning for him in the field. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts going back to last inning for Walker in the South Bend Regional and Tennessee going back to the Supers for the first time since 2005. They will play whoever comes out of Eugene next weekend. Dylan Cruz with his second hit of the game. Ground ball should end the inning, and it does. Tigers strand one. The national tournament didn't advance to the Supers. That's going to skip away from Thompson. And Gavin Grant in the nine hole gets aboard to start the third inning. Coleman sets the 2 2. Ground ball. And that is going to get into right field. On his way to third is Grant. Heading to second is Smith. The throw cut. And now they got the runner, Smith. In a back and forth, and he's going to escape. Everybody's safe. Two. One, one. 
Lofted down the line. Coming over is Cruz and foul ground. He'll make the catch. Tagging, trying to score his green. The throw is up the line. And Smith will get to third. We're tied at one. Struck him out. Zavala's out number two. Coleman sets and delivers. Ground ball. To play. Arnold comes up. Got it. Now that'll save a run, and we will be tied going to the fourth under Tony Vitello. Boy, this is hammer. Uh -oh. Deep left for Dugas. Gone. Home run. Gavin Dugas. They kind of been waiting for his bat to wake up. His 17th home run of the year, it's 2-1. Gavin Dugas, 17 home runs on the year now. He's got a pile of them in conference play when it mattered the most. So you get to count in your favor, 2-1 count. You're looking for a fastball, and look at this one. Middle, middle, belt high, and Gavin Dugas knew it as soon as he touched it. That was going to be a home run. Dross with a single in the second. Mm. Strikes out. Gavin Dugas, a leadoff homer in the fourth. Called strike three. Josh Kasevich. First out of the fourth as Javen Coleman gets his second strikeout. In the first four innings yesterday against the Zags. And they got a two-out walk. Originals in 17, 19, and 21. Here comes the throw. Down and got him. Wow. Nowitzki is out. As Alex Milazzo shows off that cannon when he got that lifetime contract. At Texas Tech. Jordan Thompson, a single, maybe a double to start the inning. You bet he's in there. Ooh, and he pops that one up. Diving! Nowitzki makes the catch. And now they're going to walk Dylan Cruz. This could be two. Get off the field. Great defense behind their starter, Brent Walker. The count now 0-2. Pardon me. Called strike three. Scanlon strikes out. To stay alive. Breaking wall. Hit well. Deep to center. Going back and it's off the wall. Hall is going to have to run back to track it down. Digging for third. Here goes Dugas. And he is going to be waved all the way. Here's the throw of time. Dugas. And inside the park home. Wow. I mean, wow. Hanging breaking ball, and he melts this one straight away center field. And the ball almost looked like it got off the batter's eye, but it hit the top of the wall. A little bit of trouble getting it in. There is the throw, and it comes home, and it is offline, and Gavin Dugas never checked up. Nowitzki, low throw, good dig by Matthews. Strikeouts. And he strikes out Zavala. Alex Malazzo has to do some dirty work. Throws down to first. Up in the bullpen. Swung out and missed. As Dross goes on down on strikes for the second time tonight. Tomorrow night. 3-0 pitch. Down and in walked the leadoff man. Kasevich is aboard. 2-2 pitch again. Called strike three. Coleman got him. Now battling here for the life against Oregon. Popped up. Behind home plate. Malazzo 
Mask off, drifts back to the ball and makes the catch. And this is crunch to left. Going deep. Back. Gone. Goodbye. Home run. Dylan Cruz is unstoppable. His third home run of the regional. And it's four to one. Well, down in Baton Rouge, they call that a Cruz missile. And that's another one. Dylan Cruz hits his 16th home run of the year, drives in his 40th run, and Paul Maneri inserted him into that leadoff spot yesterday. And this offense has been clicking ever since for LSU, and that one got out like right now. You want to know why they walked him his last time up? This is the reason why. This is a big miss right here. And Walker hadn't had many misses tonight, but the few times he has missed it, LSU has found a barrel, and Dylan Cruz gets every stitch of that one. It's this kind of play that earned him the nickname, the Mike Trout of college baseball, from his teammates earlier. And this one is hit hard. Down the line, that's going to be extra bases. Into the corner. Rattles around. Smith finally collars it. He'll get it in. And Dugas will start at second base. Now, just a single shy of the cycle. Nation game tomorrow with Oregon. Hit on the ground. Grant to first and to the inning. Walked him. Watching for a while, and it's worked out well for him. But he strikes out here. Two down. Game. Line drive. Hit hard to left. But Dugas is there to make the catch and end the inning. Struck him out. Hunter Bro. Three in a row set down since coming out of the pen. The second baseman, Arnold, boots it. And the door is open for the Ducks in the ninth. Swung out and missed. Fatno gets the strikeout for out number two. The payoff pitch. Walked him. Oh, it don't get any better than this. Again, the 3 2. Got it! And LSU will play another day. Well, Devin Fontenot answers the bell in a big way. In 3 2, he said, You know what? I'm going to throw my best pitch. And throughout his career at LSU, it's been that mid 90s fastball, and that's how he ends this one. And, partner, we got a game seven tomorrow.